Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com and we are unboxing a really fun fitness health band that uh, does a whole bunch of cool stuff. Here's some of the functions, ECG detection, heart rate monitoring, blood pressure, all that good stuff with the caveat that none of this has been verified as accurate so you're using it for your own entertainment purposes okay all these measurements from this p11 bakey p11 band are just simply for reference and give you some insight in case you need to talk to your health professional what we've got here is um a device from Banggood, and uh, it's 30 bucks retail. We hopefully will have a coupon for you, get it even a lower price, and it does all kinds of stuff. We're gonna show you that after we take a look at the specs. It uh, comes in different colors. I think I got a red one in this box. Uh, runs with basic uh, Bluetooth 4 and works with iOS and Android using the H-Band or the new H-Band 2 app. Turns out that both of these uh, apps will really work well. You got all these different supported languages. It should change automatically when you uh, tether it to your particular phone in whatever language you're running. And they claim IP67 waterproof, which in Chinese is a little like, you can splash it, but I wouldn't really stick it in water very long. Uh, it might survive a dunk in the sink or other bowl that holds water, but you're not gonna swim with it, okay? It's got support for, like I said, all these different functions. In fact, it's got just about everything except for blood oxygen and all the stuff you get as a result of analyzing blood oxygen. And we'll show you that more when we get into the overall app. But first, we got to take it out of the box, right? Open the lid. Inside, we find the band in the little bag that it came with, but Uncle Tix has played with it already, so I, I just crammed it back in here. Sorry, I usually try to put it together pretty. Um, <laughs> oops, got me on that one. Here it is. Uh, um, it's got a TPU band. It's kind of beefy up here at the top, and the reason is these bands are removable because that's actually how you charge it. It's got two plates on the back and it's got two green diodes here with a receiver for getting your PPG readings. The thing that sets this one apart and makes it only 30 bucks instead of 50 is the fact that it does not have the red diodes that we've seen on some of the others. Um, by now, hopefully you've seen a comparison video that I did that compared four bands, including this one together. And this falls in a category of those without red diodes and the red diodes are needed for all of the uh, blood oxygen stuff. So if you're not dealing with sleep apnea, you want a little bit less expensive band, but do all the other things, this might be it. So there's the band. Inside here, we've got a little quality control thing. We've got, oh, whoa, look at this. It says we've got ECG gel with this. Huh, huh. Well, they do want this to be moist against your skin to give good contact so you can get a good ECG. And it looks like Maybe in this box, yeah, sure enough, there's some ECG gel. Wow, what'll they think of next? All right, so when you get the P11, you get the band, you get the gel, you get the manual, and that's pretty much all you need because this thing charges on its own. Let's look through the manual again here. You just pop the end off to plug it into any USB charger, and it'll charge it up. Uh, the instructions are simple. Um, you just watch the symbol until it's charged. It's got a TFT color display. The app that you're going to download, there's the QR code to get the H-Band app. And I'm going to show you some stuff on an H-Band 2 app, but honestly, they're pretty close to identical. They're keeping up with both of the apps and you can use them back and forth. A nice thing is if you have two different devices, you can run one of them paired to H-Band and one with H-Band 2, and they'll actually work independent of each other. I do that all the time, and then compare the results. So uh, here you go. We've got the different screens that you're going to see as you pace through them. ECG monitoring, heart rate monitoring, blood pressure monitoring. Blood pressure, I'm finding, is a little um, tenuous. I can't say that it's really accurate, but it does take blood pressure readings often. Um, you have the capability in the app of setting up a personal 
blood pressure reading that is accurate for you derived from wearing a cuff, for example. And then what this band will do is show deviations from that normal. And that's kind of the best way to, uh, to do blood pressure on these devices. This is the, it also supports the Lorenz scatter diagram or scatter plot, they call it. And you have these different types of, of, uh, of images. Well, we'll look at it in the app. Anyway, it's a quick and easy way to just take a glance at a graph and get a feel for how you slept last night and whether you had any heart issues. Now, we're not going to use that word that starts with a D or that one with a D. These are uh, possible indicators that you may want to consult your trained physician to um, give you some further testing related to. Okay, but they've put it in here. China works totally different and this is not passing through any approval cycles in the United States or other countries. Uh, so they can get away with diagnose. I use that word. I shouldn't. That, that, that's a really bad word. It's like one of those that the other words, if I use, that would get me banned. I don't want to use that word. Um, here you go. Uh, you got running. You got GPS in your phone that will track your tracks. And you can, if you take your phone with you, you can use the band, accumulate your data, and uh, get your tracks uh, right in the app as well, and so forth. Taking photos, all kinds of things. So that's pretty much it, Chinese on that side. And now we get to the band. And this is where the fun begins. There's only one button. You press it here. I'll just touch it, really. There's a little vibration, and then it pops up with the time screen. So let's take a quick look. Let's walk through here. Uh, your time screen is first. Then you get your basic step count, distance traveled, and calories burned, which comes from the built-in pedometer. You have last night's sleep time if you've recorded that. Oh, and if you're not quick, it goes right back to the beginning. So to get to all of these things, you have to move one by one through them. Here's where you do the ECG testing on the band, and then you get heart rate here. Uh, finally, you can have the press to enter to go into fitness activity. Oh, and we timed out again. And after that, you have a blood pressure reading on here. So you have heart rate and blood pressure, and then power off. Okay, what does it look like on the band, uh, on, the, on the actual app? Well, let's take a look. I'm bringing up the H-Band 2 app, and it's got a bunch of data in here already. Now, the data was acquired from a different but similar band to this one that does everything this band does and blood oxygen. So I want to just show you the difference in all this. When you're in the app, you get uh, your step count and your hours slept with circles that show how well you're doing against that goal. Beyond that, then you get into this line where the app, uh, the watch that's connected is shown. This would say P11 right here after you're tethered. You can hit more and you have all these functions that you can remotely trigger. So if you're wearing this on your arm or an elderly person that you're in charge of is wearing it, you can literally monitor it directly from the app as long as you're within Bluetooth range and you're tethered. That's heart rate. That's blood pressure. This does not do blood oxygen, and this is ECG. So you should be able to do those three and go into settings directly from that line where it says more. Beyond that, you get into sleep time. When you analyze the sleep time, and this band creates the same kind of chart, it shows you the times you were awake, your REM sleep, that's your dream state, insomnia if you are having any, your light sleep and your deep sleep and your overall sleep quality, which wasn't very good, but it's very busy as far as giving us some nice data to look at. Goes over your awake times, your efficiency falling asleep and your overall sleep efficiency of going back to sleep when you roused it out of a deep sleep, I guess. Anyway, all of this is that scientific uh, sleep capability and it's in this little $30 band just as, as well as it is in the more expensive ones. Heart rate variability is something that it can compute. And this is that Lorenz scatter plot or scatter diagram that they're talking about. It's mapping um, your heart rate variability versus itself in a crazy kind of way that they figured out that can give you these different type of images. And each of these images represents a different type of a physical condition. And when you touch on these, and I have other reviews showing much more detail of this app, it'll go in there and it'll tell you if you have one that looks like this, what is most commonly going on 
that gives you some information that you can talk to your doctor or health professional about. It gives you this overall Lorenz plot report, and I got five stars on all of them last night. Even with that crazy sleep pattern going on, my heart was really good. The heart rate change was five. Sudden change in heart rate was good. Neural state and heart rhythm change. And you touch on any of these, and it'll give you more of an uh, explanation. My overall index is up here, and I can hit the heart rate data and actually look at the data that uh, was collected in the process. HRV is part of this because it uses the green diodes, not the red ones. The only thing the red diodes are used for is blood oxygen. So you won't see this part on the app when you get this band. You need an upgrade to a, a different band. But I'll show you. Blood oxygen shows you your overall rate of your blood oxygen through the night. It's usually 97, 98 in that neighborhood. And the little yellow dots, I don't know if you can see them down there, represent moments of apnea. And apnea is that point in time when you're like holding your breath. And if you have this thing set way down here to hypoxia and arousal turned on, it will vibrate to let you know when you are having an, an episode of sleep apnea. But that's blood oxygen, and that requires the red diodes in addition to the green ones, and they're not on this band, just to let you know. But I wanted to show you, I won't go over all the other things because they don't apply. Then there's your basic heart rate. You get a chart, you get the data that supports it. You can look at all of that stuff and your blood pressure. And it's giving you your readings taken every five minutes. Systolic, diastolic, bounces around somewhat. Again, I don't know about the accuracy of this, but if you put in your personal numbers, it gets pretty darn close, plus or minus a little bit. If for some reason you're way off, I honestly don't know if the band any of these bands would report that to you and let you know that you are like really high blood pressure right now. Haven't been able to test that. I don't know anybody that has. So take these measurements as, with a grain of salt, as they say, um, and just uh, rely on your trained medical professional, especially related to blood pressure and your long-term heart health, of which blood pressure plays a big part, okay? ECG, this is that business where you're using the two electrodes in the back and the one in the front, wearing it on your arm. I have an ECG report that I did here just to show you what these things look like. It tells you basically your heart rate, your QT interval, and your heart rate variability. And when you hit playback, you can get it to uh, play back the reading that you took. Now, you can do a reading directly on the band when you're away from everywhere, but I found the best thing to do is to set it all up, have it tethered, have it set into the ECG um, screen, and activate it from the phone, and let the phone tell the band to do it. Then you just keep your thumb on it while you're wearing it, or your finger, and you'll get this kind of a chart. You can expand it. Oops, that's my brightness control in here. You guys know about display brightness, right? Okay, that's good. Well, anyway, it's got it's to stop, I guess. There we go. You can get the whole thing just kind of spread out that way if you want to look at it as well, or back compact like that. And it tells you the result, and it's saying there's no abnormal phenomenon in that particular ECG. And they'll all be listed here as you get different records. And of course, like I say, you can start testing right there while you're wearing the band. Yes, with this one. This one does support all of that function as well. And then finally, you've got your sports, which is showing you your distance walk during every half hour. Um, it's not a very sophisticated thing, but it is tracking your pedometer. And of course, with the pedometer going on, you can also monitor your heart rate and uh, blood pressure and see how things are happening as far as um, activity goes there. If you tap the running key now, you get into the running aspect of the app and you can actually start a run from the phone while you're wearing the watch. And mine is where you put in all of your particular data. I'm not reviewing the app, I've already done that, just to let you know that this is all set up for it and it works really well with the P11. So one last walkthrough on here. We can change the uh, faces if you want to. You'll see all of these results. When you get here, you would press and enter to begin an ECG report. When you're here, it's going to automatically start the green diodes and give you your heart rate. When you press and enter here, 
Now, this is where it begins the one sport only, running. And it's a timed heart rate with distance traveled uh, and uh, calories burned. And you can uh, pause it. And if you long press here, that will return out of it and get you back to time. So very, very limited fitness capability, very robust in terms of health capabilities. Everything you need except for blood oxygen and the things related to it like hypoxia and um, sleep apnea are available on the Bakey P11, which you can pick up directly from Banggood. And again, check the show notes for the link to get there. It helps us if you use that link to go in and shop around, whether you buy this one or a different one. Start your, start your dance through, through our link if you don't mind. That's really good. And of course, if we have a discount coupon for you, with the holidays coming, we should. Um, you could pick this thing up even less than $30. Good price to just kind of give one of these things a, a chance and a test and see if it's for you. If you really like it, you could you know upgrade for something more expensive later on down the road. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web, smartwatchticks.com. We appreciate your subscription and being here, and I hope to see you again. Thanks for watching.